Hello, it's Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a Chinese fountain pen review. Um, I saw this pen quite a while ago and decided not to pull the trigger for a little while, um, mainly because I wasn't sure if it was something I'd like. Now, for those of you who followed my fountain pen journey from the start, uh, you'll see that one of my earliest purchases and one of my favourite pens, I've usually got one inked up, is the Delike Classic Alpha, the Brass Delike Classic Alpha. I have one or two of the acrylic versions, which are very, very nice colours, um, but, you know, there's usually at least one de one of those Delike Classic Alphas in my fountain pen rotation at any one time. This Brass Fountain Pen is also a Delike Brass Fountain Pen. Now, to give it the title that the um, eBay seller I bought this from, from China, this is the Delike Full Brass Fountain Pen. So it's not the classic alpha, it's just full brass. Um, and to, to be honest, it strikes me as being a copy of the Caveco Lilypot. It isn't quite, but theoretically it's not far off. So once again, do you like, if you like, copied, emulated the Caveco All Sport with the Delight Classic Alpha. And I have a feeling that they've done something very similar with the Caveco Lilypot. Now, slightly different finish for this pen. Um, first off, let's just talk about it. Materials, it's all brass. It's quite it's quite heavy. It's a substantial pen, even for a pocket pen. This has got some weight to it. It's also pretty solid. So, I mean, this thing is not going to uh, break easily or bend or anything like that, which you might get with some, uh, some aluminium fountain pens. Now, the surface, the seller calls it threaded surface. And you can just see it looks like it is threaded. Just there these lines and at first I thought it really feels quite weird um, but it's actually very tactile it's actually quite nice to hold on to and just run your fingers around it it's it's, it's definitely got some tactile feedback that's quite uh, quite pleasant um, way up at this end there is some more threading now this is for the uh, for when you pose the cap it, it sort of blends in. It's, it's, you can see it, but feel it? No, not really. So, very, very nice pen. Machine brass. Good quality. All brass fountain pen. Um, this one uh, came from a seller in China. It comes in a blue tin, um, very much like the Delight Classic Alpha tin. Now, to unscrew the cap, now, this is a bit, yeah, that's the problem. There are quite a few threads on here. One, two, three. It's just about four turns, I'd have said, to uncap this pen. So, you're presented with, now this one came with a... 0.6mm bent nib, so it's not a food a nib as such, but it's a bent nib, we've got Delike on the nib there, I always like Delike nibs, they're very good quality, you sometimes have to do a little bit of nib smoothing, but other than that it's fine, fairly short section, brass section, threads that you can, you can feel them, but they're not at all problematic, no step up at all, it's, it's really really quite well machined into the um, uh, barrel of the fountain pen there. Lengthwise for a pocket fountain pen, it's actually not a bad length. This isn't too bad, you can write with it on posted, which is great because this has got one of the biggest bugbears of all of mine. I mean, my fountain pen pet hate. Unscrew cap that you then have to screw to post. Now, posted, it actually becomes quite a long pen. It's quite back heavy, there's a lot of weight in this cap and you can really feel that and it's, it's not very well balanced. So, if you need to use it posted, you're going to have to have fairly big hands. Unposted, it actually thankfully fits. So for me this is actually quite a comfortable little pen. 
So let's have a look at what this can, pen compares to. Now I've got a Caveco Ice Sport here. So true pocket fountain pen. You can see it's a good centimetre and a half, centimetre and a half longer than the um, Caveco Ice Sport when it's capped. Unposted. Now there's no clip on this pen so it rolls around everywhere. So put these side by side. There we go. About a centimetre again. So it, it, it's actually got the length that the Caveco misses. Post it. And post this one. So I turn, 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 turn. Four ish, four and a bit turns. Um, those side by side so I mean it's a good at least a centimeter and a half I'd say there longer than the Caveco I Sport posted so it it, it do, does definitely add quite a little bit of extra length with that cap but just in case you're still debating on pulling the trigger and you know what the Caveco I Sport is like there we go. I mean, it's it's a centimetre longer, so it is workable. You can actually use it um, unposted. So I'm not going to post it for this writing sample. Bit of a hard start because it's been uncapped for a minute. Right, so this is the Delight Full Brass. Oops. It's not easy seeing over the camera. Delight Full Brass Fountain Pen. Now, this one was sold as uh, by the seller as threaded surface. I don't know whether there are other um, finishes in the pipeline, but I actually like it. I think it's, it's, it's quite tactile and pleasant to use. And this one has got a 0.6 millimeter bent nib. And I like the nib. Um, it is exactly what you expect from these Delight nibs. It works, it's functional. Line variation when you angle the nib. Yep, it does go finer, but to me, the whole point of a bent nib is just to lay down a little bit more ink and have a smoother writing experience, which this is, it, it is smooth. Do the good old smear, which is you know subjective, but there you go. Yeah, medium wetness, nothing, uh, nothing outstanding, but it does a good job. So let's do the writing sample. Yep, absolutely no problems with that whatsoever. Let's lay down a patch of ink, see how the feed and everything keeps up. And yeah, this is absolutely fine. It's just going to go and go and go and go and go. That's me just moving a bit too quickly. Yeah, absolutely no issues there whatsoever. Um, if you're interested in what ink this is, this is, oh, let me just double check, yeah, it is Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc Irish Green. Nice bright ink. Um, 
quite playful looking. Uh, it does conjure up Im images of the Emerald Isle. Um, it is that sort of colour. It's um, it's not grass green like you get with some of these um, more colourful green inks, but it's yeah very attractive. Nice shading too, flows well. Um, so, all in all, what do I think? Well, yeah, if you're after a fairly similar sort of pen to the Caveco lily pot, this is almost certainly going to be it for the money. It's really, really inexpensive. Um, bugbear of mine is the unscrew cap that you then have to screw to post, which for me breaks a lot of, well, not breaks, it make a break. It annoys me to the point where I'd avoid pocket fountain pens that do that. However, this one you can po you can write with unposted. So from that point of view, it gets a thumbs up. It almost got a thumbs down when I realised that actually, you know, there's threads up here and you have to screw the uh, cap on to post it. But in use, no, I'm happy with it unposted. Um, heavy, yes. Brass, Yes, it is, is what you expect, but I love it. I like the weight. I think it's a substantial, decent pocket fountain pen. Um, if you compare it with something like the Lamy All-Star, then obviously, you know, it, it, it's it's not the smallest, shortest pocket pen, but it's not a full-size fountain pen. Um, if you're interested in seeing what it looks like posted compared to the Lamy All-Star. He's about right. Yeah, so it's adding another um, two centimetres to the Lamy's length and unposted. Yeah, it's quite a bit shorter. So there you go. Let's just pop that back on there. Put it there. Oh, it's not rolling, which is good. Um, the lack of a clip, to be honest, is a little bit of a pain because this is not only a heavy pen. I mean, it, it, it's going to find it's going to find some form of uh, movement, some way rolling off the desk because there's a lot of a uh, lot of stuff going on with this pen, weight-wise. Um, it's yeah, very very nicely made. It's nothing fancy. It's not the Caveco Lilypup fire blue finish, but it's a very nice pen and it works well. It comes with a um, converter included in the price, which is a very good delight converter, very decent, very, very good quality. Um, but I'm using a standard international ink cartridge in this, obviously a Mont Blanc one. So there we go. There is the review of the Delight Full Brass Fountain Pen the 0.6mm bent nib. So thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye.